Everybody, my name is Elena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing my March TBR. We're doing my little TBR card game. I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. I already tried to film this video once, like right before this, and I hate the video. Not the prompts or the books that I pick or anything, but I just hate the video. So I'm filming it again. Like 20 minutes of my life wasted, gone, because I want to refilm it. Okay, great. If you haven't seen the other two videos, I will link them. But basically, I'm just going to very briefly explain the concept. I made this DIY card game. It consists of prompts on these cards, and then I roll a die, and then if I get an odd number, I have to pick a power-up card, which could make or break the TBR, and they have, like, additional prompts on them. So the goal of this is to get through my physical TBR, but as of 2023. So books that I have bought in 2024 don't count. That's what we're doing, and if I read at least three per month, I will be able to get through that physical TBR, and that is music to my ears. January meant great, February not so much, but you'll have to watch that in the wrap-up because I'm actually posting this before the wrap-up, which I haven't done before, and it's kind of weird in my brain, but it also makes sense with the upload schedule, whatever. That's not what you're here for. You're not interested in me blabbing about my upload schedule. You're here so we can play the TBR game. Again, I say this in every video, this is the only way that I can at least show you a little bit. I'm shuffling because we need to pick our first book. I already have in mind about books that I want to read from my physical TBR, specifically the Book of the Air trilogy. I want to knock it out this month. Don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. If I can incorporate them in here, probably going to happen. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to pick this prompt. Oh, it's my favorite color scheme. The pink and the red is just my favorite. Okay, wait, you should look first. That's the prompt. Let's see. A genre you don't usually read. Oh, I don't want to read a classic. I really don't want to read a classic. Um, oh, well, does this historical romance count? I'm gonna count it. I don't read historical books a lot, but I'm kind of in the mood for historical romance because even if I don't like it, I can listen to it on audiobook, but I feel like I'm going to be in that mood because I want to continue watching Bridgerton. And I know that when I watch season two, I will be obsessed and want to be in that kind of um, setting. So I feel like that's good. I have two by Tessa Dare. I'm too lazy to go get them and we have to roll the die anyways. So we're going to put the prompt aside for now. And then we're picking this. All right, let's see rolling a six okay that's an even number that means i don't have to pick a power up card let me go get the book that i'm thinking of i have the second and third book in the spindle cove series by tessa dare there's four books in it do i have the first one no do i have the fourth one no i just have these two and that's fine because they're interconnected it's not like i need to read the other books i'm pretty sure a week to be wicked is the one that comes before so like this is the second one i think yeah coming soon a lady by midnight that means this one wasn't released yet so we're putting this one aside and this is my first pick for um this tbr game it is a week to be wicked by tessa dare off to a great start okay now we're gonna shuffle so we can pick our own oh, okay so we can pick our second book uh the cards are flying at me I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, it's another pink and red book. It must be good. See, why am I showing you that side? Okay, perfect. Oh, I think I know what it is. Cause it's like really short. Yeah, a YA book. Okay, that's fine. Um, So this can be any YA book. It can be YA fantasy. It can be YA fantasy. Oh, I don't even wanna get it out cause I don't wanna get my hopes up because I need to roll the die. Okay, well, you know what I'm picking? It's it's right here. Let's just hope that I roll um, an even number and I don't have to pick a power-up card. Okay, let's see. A five. Of course, of course it would. There it is, a five, an odd number. Huh. Guess we're gonna have to pick a power-up card. This always either makes or breaks the TBR. Oh, I'm so scared. Every time, every time. Terrified. I pick this one. It was really hard to get out of the pile. I think that means I, sh I shouldn't have picked it. Let fate decide. Okay. Yeah, let a number generator pick. You know what this means? This means that I have to number all of the books that are YA, and then I have to 
a roll a random number generator and then pick that way. I am terrified. Also, I can't do it right now because my laptop is right there and I'm filming on my phone. If there's six, I'll, I'll just roll the die actually. Hold on. YA. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, there's more than six. Oh, of course there is. Of course. I guess I need to go get my laptop because there's more than six books that fit the YA book prompt. Okay, let me go get it. In case anyone was wondering what I was watching, I'm watching Jack Edwards because I really like his videos. <laughs> I think I'm gonna line them up on my TBR cart and then like do it that way. Everything is falling apart in case you were wondering. You can see them all. Okay, so these are um, all the YA books that I own. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight of them. So I'm just gonna look up the number generator and we're gonna roll. This is the number generator. Obviously the max is set to eight because there's eight books. All right, we're gonna roll two. Okay. Oh, this is perfect actually because I wanted to read this in February but I didn't get around to it. It's Chicken Mate by Ali Hazelwood. This is perfect. I'm really happy with this. Yes. We kind of have a theme going on with the books that I'm picking, like a color theme. That's nice. The book cart is a mess now. I don't know where anything is. But anyways, we need to pick a third book. I'm putting the little prompt aside and also the power-up card. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to put the power-up card back in its little pile. And we're going to shuffle for the third book. Okay, let's see. I pick this one let's see if it's gonna be the pink and, and and yes oh my god all of them are my favorite color scheme okay a uh, book that starts with the okay oh my god wait 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 wait. this is perfect no i went oh wait <laughs> i still have to roll i keep forgetting but anyways the cruel prince by holly black i could do this can i please have this one? <laughs> oh my god okay here's the die i'm gonna roll let's hope it's an even number it's not because it's a one and that is an odd number which means that i need to pick a power up card it's just really not going my way today you know it's fine we're we're gonna shuffle these are really hard to shuffle by the way because i made them so small i might go back and redo them and make them a little bit bigger but that's a feat for another time all right i picked this one freebie choose whatever book you want oh this is what i needed okay let me just show you yep that's it. Perfect. I'm picking The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I think I'm finally going to read this this month, which is amazing, not only for me, but also for my two friends that have been begging me to read this series. Okay, let's just keep the expectations, like, right here, because the enthusiasm is right here on my part as well. But I just, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I hopefully I will. And listen, if I read the first book, chances are I'm going to read all the other ones as well because I already own them, but we'll see. I'm going to put this aside now because it stressed me out and I don't want to look at it right now. We came out of this TBR video with three books as planned. Very happy with it. Let's just recap. So first prompt that we pulled is a genre you don't usually read. And for that one, I don't want to say I cheated, but like, I love reading romance, but I don't really read historical romance, historical books. So I picked, what is it? Oh, it's not this one. Where's the other one? I had the wrong book in my pile. Uh, I picked A Week to Be Wicked by Tessa Dare. This is the second book in the Spindle Cove series. No, I have not read the first book. I'm just gonna go into this one and see how I like it. I think I will though, and I think I'll be in the mood for it as well. And then I picked up uh, the prompt that said a YA book. And then I think we rolled an odd number and I got, what was it? Oh yeah, the Let Fade Decide with the number generator. And I ended up picking Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. This is perfect because I wanted to read it in February. Like I had all the tabs picked out as well. Where, where is it? Yeah, I had all the tabs ready as well and I just didn't read it. So I'm super excited to be reading this this month. I'm pretty sure I will get to it like immediately. And then... I picked up a book that starts with the and I got really excited because I was like oh my god I get to read The Cruel Prince because that's what I was in the mood to read and then I rolled an odd number and I was like great 
that's not gonna be nice and then we we picked up the freebie card which meant that i got to put like pick whatever book i wanted and so i picked the cruel prince by holly black imagine i say all of that and i'm like oh i really want to read the cruel prince and then i don't pick it <laughs> this is what i'm reading i'm actually gonna prioritize this because i'm really in the mood for it and that's what i was waiting for like i've had this for probably a year like this whole series i need to read it i'm in the mood for it now and i think i'm really gonna enjoy it those are my picks for March, let's hope everything turns out okay. I like the color scheme that we have going on. I mean, the purple was a bit prettier, but it's like the wrong book in the series. I'm very happy with this, and that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. The book cart is a mess. Mm-hmm.